Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Lent. I have a 9.6 pound, 11 year old man in my life. Our neighbors and friends know him as our dog Bandit, but to me, he is my greatest teacher. Bandit struggles with doggy dementia, and anytime nap time or bedtime rolls around, he will dart in and out of his crate dozens of times before he finally rests and embraces the comfort and security found within its walls and inside its door. I watch him do this, and I am often, if not always, reminded of how I behave in my own life, particularly my faith life. I am human and therefore prone to wander. We all are. How many times do we dart in and out of the comfort, security, and consistency found within a life lived with Jesus seeking what appears to be an immediate return on investment in the world. Meryl shared with us a verse this past Sunday from Zechariah chapter one, verse three. I'm gonna read it again for us. Therefore tell the people, this is what the Lord Almighty says, return to me, declares the Lord Almighty, and I will return to you. Return to me and I will return to you. Returning to Jesus, sounds so easy but y'all it's hard especially in this wilderness that we're living in right now there were cards on a table in our narthex this past sunday and they'll be around for many sundays to come the cards remind us all of our church's mantra love big but they get a little more specific they say love god love your neighbor love yourself when you break down returning to jesus these three steps it makes it a whole lot easier to remember how to do that and why we do it for those of us who are members or even visitors if you come and see us on any sunday you will be able to pick up one of these cards and read the steps on the back about ways you can love god love your neighbor and love yourself and it also asks you to take a confidential survey and give us some tips as to how we can help you achieve these three steps. Our resources at College Park Methodist are available not just for members, but for anyone who enters our doors. So try to take advantage of the resources on this card. Pick it up, take it home, keep it in a visible place as a simple and loving reminder that during Lent, we are all called to return to Jesus, our Lord God Almighty, our rock, our redeemer, and our creator. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week during this first week of Lent. And I look forward to seeing you same time, same place next week. Love, blessings, and light to you, my friends.